Hi everybody, it's Kendrick from Providence Tarot. It's that time again. Uh, actually, it's a little bit earlier than that time last year, but it still is that time again. I'm gonna be doing the Summer Flash Sale, which is 20 minute readings for $20. You can DM me on Instagram at Providence Tarot, or you can email me Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com to get your reading. Uh, I will leave the information to my PayPal and my Venmo in the description box to this video. You can look at that video or look in that description box and uh, then make your payment uh, to me. Then I'll confirm with an email and then you'll be on the list uh, in consecutive order or in sequential order in the order that you are requesting your readings. Okay, so it's a first come first serve basis. Um, since I'm here and since you're here and I'm and we're here together, I will go ahead and pull some cards for each sign and I'll give you just a little bit, not each sign, but each um, element. So air signs will get one card, water signs will get one card, earth of fire. So air, water, earth, fire. There are three bonus cards in here. Should we keep them? Sure. <laughs> so air signs, your card is impulsiveness. This is Mars and Aries. So instead of thinking about something, maybe you should just do something, right? Like this special, I've been thinking about doing it, but now I'm going to, you know, do it. I'm posting the video, I'm making the announcement. Uh, and I feel like impulsively it's the right thing to do, right? I feel like a lot of things right now we're in our heads about and some of the things we're in our heads about are things that we are certain about that we should act on. Meaning if it's not anything that is going to hurt anyone because Mars and Aries does speak about impulsiveness and maybe the impulsiveness uh, acting too quickly. Uh, it could also spring about some recklessness because sometimes when you act on an impulse, then you don't necessarily always get the uh, return that you had hoped for. Did you even think about the return that you were getting? So, you know, this is saying think before you act, right? And some of you, if you've thought about it long enough, then you should just go ahead and act and do what it is that you've felt like you've been wanting to do for yourself, not involving anyone else. This is merely the self, okay? <clears throat> you know, it's also talking about, you know, if there's some things, this is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, if there are some things that you've been holding off on or you've been waiting or you've been indecisive about, then maybe it is time for you to make that, uh, you know, that decision, right? It's not talking about choices. It's, a, it's the decision to act. It's not that you're choosing between two things, but it's kind of like satisfying an awareness that you have for something or seeing where, you know, uh, <clears throat> being aware of something is going to take you, right? Where is it taking you? Okay. Anyway, water signs companionship moon and libra so this is talking about you know understanding um what it is to get along right to be receptive because it's a seven uh that's related to libra and it's the moon and the moon is naturally receptive right water signs and then it's moon and libra and this is kind of like one of the signs that's not a water sign that's most like a water sign right because it's it's talking about what you feel and what I feel or what you think and what I think, right? Because, you know, how we respond and react to each other is going to bring about some feelings of how, you know, we, um, we see each other, right? Um, so that's important for uh, you all to think about, right? How are your feelings? How is someone else affecting your feelings? And how do you think that you might be affecting someone else's feelings? Um, this is talking about sharing um, information and sharing emotions and sharing feelings and sharing of each other, right? So in a social setting, it's like <clears throat> you might be sharing some of the uh, deeper parts about you with someone and that's natural for water signs to do. Um, yeah, this is saying just um, appreciating someone's time and someone's companionship because it nurtures you in a way that you um, you can see is valuable because Libra talks about value and quality as well, okay? Uh, the quality in one's um, 
I don't know, maternal nature, right? So we 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 definitely can um, can can place some value on someone's maternal instinct or someone's maternal nature, and how we benefit from that. All right. Also, water signs, you might be dealing with a Libra, or you might be dealing with another water sign, or you could even be dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> Speaking of Taurus, Earth signs, you got Venus in Taurus, which is romance. Ooh, this is really cool. So you can see Cupid, Mercury, Hermes here at the top, right? This is almost like the lovers, okay? Because this is Venus and Taurus. And this is talking about sensuality as well, Earth sign. So you might be feeling like an attraction. Uh, you might be having those feelings of romance. Or you could even just be like, um, you know, <laughs> uh, some feelings may not be going away. Or you might be spending time with someone. Uh, or you might just be... Um, <laughs> You know, someone might be making you feel secure, so then you might just be having feelings for them in some kind of way. Because when people make us feel secure and safe, because Taurus does talk about safety as well, and Venus does feel a need to be emotionally safe and physically safe, and also feel psychologically at peace when it is involving itself with another being or person or entity. Uh, not entity, but you know what I mean, because I'm talking about pets and like, uh, people and children and spaces and things like that. I'm not talking about entities. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Venus and Taurus really does find pleasure in principle, right? <laughs> uh, and, and practical things, right? So this could be somebody that you might be feeling like, um, you know, you, you can celebrate and you appreciate because of like their practical ways of responding to you or to like you know how things work uh and this is reliable energy because it's fixed yeah but it's reliable energy that's able to initiate and 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 change and uh, uh apply itself in meaningful ways to to create change um that is you know constant yeah anyway let me go ahead and move on because it's not so much about change but it's like you know when you're dealing with venus then you so you some a lot of times you're able to compromise a lot right because venus does compromise in order to 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 allow itself to experience pleasure within whatever it is involved in yeah because sometimes you have to compromise because if you weren't going to compromise anywhere then you would experience displeasure Right, I mean, look at our government right now. There is no compromise that's happening or taking place. So uh, it's we're experiencing some displeasure, and and as a result, we are also dysphoric. You know, I can see it around people. Anyway, um, wow, Aries and Venus and Mars and and Libra and Taurus, they're all up and through here, honey. Uh, okay, so. Fire signs, you got Jupiter in Libra, which is wonderful. I like this one. So this is allowing yourself to get along with others in a big way. You could be sharing the best parts of yourself with other people, which is allowing the energy to flow successfully, right? Um, you know, Jupiter is expanding and Libra is relationships and peace and harmony and, and you know, all of the good things. Uh, some of you guys could be needing to... Uh, really think about you know all of the the decadence that you might be um you might be experiencing or putting into your body um i don't know why i'm saying that but i am uh this is also like you know really going the extra mile to achieve balance or to achieve um you know something that's meaningful to more than one person um you know and you are doing this in a very passionate way and you're doing it um in a way that is actually um, generating some optimism, right, amongst the people who are experiencing this great, um, you know, sharing of encouragement, right? It's it's almost like every you're you're encouraging others and they're encouraging you. Uh, fire signs. <clears throat> this could be like you guys getting more money or it could also be like you guys getting more success in terms of like work 
or you might just be more popular, right? Because Jupiter and Libra is popularity, sort of, almost like Jupiter and Leo would be, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go there and say that. Anyway, I'm not going to choose these extra three cards here because I feel like it's just uh, extra. But I'll tell you the words they are. I'm not going to describe them. Enterprise, Jupiter, again, in Aries, right? <laughs> Flirtation, Venus in Sagittarius, okay? Someone's flirtation might have gone really quickly. Isolation, Saturn in Virgo. Being too involved with work and not getting out or feeling like, um, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Some of you are feeling isolated by work. Some people are, are, are entertaining a flirtation, right? And some people are really just kind of like got their, their mind on their business and how they can expand that business and make it super duper whatever they want it to be. Okay, everybody, um, if you have any planets in air, fire, water, or earth, you can apply the messages to those signs that you might you had the signs that represent that element that you might have that planet or those planets in, perhaps, and just kind of like connect it in that way. You know, find the ways to kind of like create that web so that you can start to see a pattern, right, in the, in the message specifically for you, okay? Um, because you want to think of your interpretation of the reading, especially when it's in general, in those different ways. Like when I do the weeklies and I go through all the 12 signs, you can start at the first, at the card that I choose first and have that be your first house, but just change it from Aries to like, my, my first house is Libra, change it to Libra, and then go through. And by the time you actually get to the actual Libra card, you can apply it there for my sun or my rising. But then like, that's the seventh house. So what's the seventh house from Libra? That's Aries. So then I have to think about like that message and that could apply for my relationship. Or then, you know, I could just start, you know, the seventh house, like I said before, here, Libra, at Aries. You know what I mean? So you could do that. Um, I love these Oracle of the Radiant Sun cards. They're very beautiful. It makes me feel very like, um, they're like frescoes, right? They're like fresco paintings or frescoes. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Definitely take advantage of the flash sale, the summer flash sale during cancer season, okay? 20 minutes for $20. You can send it through Venmo or PayPal, and I'll confirm with you via email that I've gotten the payment and let you know that you're on the list, okay? All right, bye, everybody. 13 minutes, it looks like. We're going to make it to this.